300 years before the birth of Christ, the ancient empire of Carthage ruled the Mediterranean until Carthage was challenged and brutally defeated in war by Rome. I swear that for as long as I live, that for as long as I live, I will be an enemy of Rome. I will be an enemy of Rome. It was only a matter of time before the rivalry between Carthage and Rome would once again lead to war. A war that would seal a child's destiny as one of history's greatest leaders, Hannibal. I was born to exact vengeance, raised to achieve the impossible. I will forever be known as the greatest enemy of Rome. This is the story of a general who pushed his army to the limits of human endurance. The story of a mind so brilliant that it brought Rome to the brink of destruction. Above all, it's the story of how history can turn on a single decision. A decision that would haunt Hannibal's life, seal his fate, and determine who would rule the Western world for the next 600 years. is all I've ever known. War between Carthage and Rome. My father had fought Rome 40 years earlier. Then we were defeated, humiliated, stripped of our honor and our lands. But under my father's command, we rose again, expanded our territories from Northern Africa into Spain. Yet there could never be two masters of the Mediterranean. Either Rome or Carthage was destined for destruction. And I swore upon my father's memory it would not be Carthage. Hannibal Barker. Caius Terentius Varro, special ambassador of the Roman Senate. My brothers Mago and Hasdrubal. I think you know why I'm here. It's come to our attention that you've made military threats against the city of Saguntum. I have. Saguntum is an ally of Rome. She has our full protection. Saguntum is a city in Spain, not Italy. And yet she continues to attack Spanish allies of Carthage. Tell me, Caius Terentius Varro, if this was a city on Roman soil, what would you do? I trust you understand the rules of engagement. Make war on Saguntum, and you make war on Rome. 